hello guys welcome back again a producer came to my studio and asked me how i managed to record my screen with euphoria sound card just a big problem for some producer they find it difficult to use to record the screen in a normal mode I don't know if this is happening with other audio interface. I just see, I just discover if I want to record my screen on Ableton Live and FS Studio, even on Cubase, I always find some difficulties. That is, is either I record ordinary image without sound, I won't be able to record the sound from the door that is digital audio workstation so i won't be able to make i mean record the sound from the door then record my voice too so it's not just easy for me so i just discover one or two things on how to fix it so i downloaded a software called vb that is voice meter you can search it on google and I will also place the link in my description so that you'll be able to download the software then you follow the steps that I'm doing, that I'm using. I also have a preset for the, for the software. It will help you, look at it, I will copy links and then share it with you guys. If you are using Euphoria, the settings is okay, automatically you, if you just select load like this some select it easy setup it will give you what you want so you will not have any problem you will not have any problem so that is that on this the preset and the link to download this software i will give you in my description below just make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel and uh, hit the bell icon to make sure that you receive any notification if I get any new video. So make sure you give me a thumbs up too to show me that you really love what I'm doing. God will bless you. So let's get into it. The first thing you do is to install the software and it will open like this. If you really have idea, you can touch one or two things to get what you want but to me i have a preset for that you can just go directly and pick the effect load the effect like this then that's all it's what i'm using right away. then you need to go to your door the software that you are using go to preference then audio ashio leave it uh, leave it like this then come here you will now select voice meter factual as you if you select it that shows is going to sound out if you are playing your beat here the signal will come up from this side the signal will come up from this side now let me just show you the sample i'll play the beat from the beginning that then you just go to your software the software that you are using to record the screen i'm using bandicam and it's full fashion i will also show you the link in the description below if you want to make use of the bandicam so that it will help you a lot it will give you straight straight learning that is you just follow it's just like you copy what i have here and put it in your own brain if you follow these steps you get what i'm talking of so just download this software i will also put the description uh, the link in the description for you to download so the next thing you are to do is to click on this microphone or you go to settings come to general and click advanced settings for this shortcut that i use most is microphone button 
it will bring the settings up then you will now select the speaker vb audio voice mapper here then you will in microphone we also select the output audio meter i think you can see it now it will give you different types of uh, options but the one you are to select is voice meter output in bracket vb audio meter so that is that on this one then in secondary side that is the sound that is playing on your pc that is the secondary sound device so you will now select that same audio because everything is routed to the 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 software that is vb audio or you can also call it voice meter this software is very useful so you routed everything to this place and it will send the sound back to the software that you are using to record your sound i think you can see it now so that is that on how to how to route your this thing with your software so if you click you see presently i'm using it to record my screen bandicam i'm using it to record my screen so it's helped me a lot although i face some difficulties before i can see this thing like this because um, i don't <coughs> i don't just get it on time so it waste most of my time before i discover the best way like this so um i appreciate you for watching my video then i would like you to also subscribe to my youtube channel so give me thumbs up then also on your notification so anytime that i have this type of video if i upload it you'll be able to you'll be the first person to to see it so thanks so much for watching god bless you bye for now